win a case, but he loses strength. He becomes, he's a robot actually, yeah. He's not allowed to win the case, so therefore he does not win the case. It's yeah, just yeah. like it's, it is. Like the law is written yeah. also, so that the, the babies would stay in the property of the state. Yeah, they wanted the baby, I wanted the baby to be Latvian, they wanted the baby, they took the baby, and here we are now arguing about and the it. The baby is with sweets. Yeah. And that is because I asked them to put the baby with the sweets. It could have been with Muslims, or it could yeah. have been with the Turks, it could have been with who, God knows whom, yeah? If I didn't deliberately ask that the, get the baby to the sweets. And uh, your, lawyer, your lawyer never, never seemed to have... A He's quite bad, actually, in his duties. You see, there's so much that is so simple with life and he seems to have it very difficult yeah his his job is to pretend to help you that's how yeah. I it feels like it because he never gets when he's standing up and wants to speak he cannot actually does he does he he do just, he does he just, just does the something as to that's complicated for you and your kin, your uh, tribe, have no rights at all to, to, to raise the baby. That was very, very interesting. And grandmother has no rights by bloodline to replace you as caretaker, which is just for thousands of years has been the case yeah. in human history. Yeah. Were you not shocked about that? Uh, well, my grandmother, nobody could ever have argued with her. The grandmother her. of the child? Yeah. Well, well, with my grandmother, mother, grandmother. No, I'm talking mother. about Anton's grandmother. Yeah, I'm talking about you. Can you shut up a little bit? You're annoying me. Uh, as you can see, they want to prove that they can make my mother fall and that she isn't right and they want to teach her that lesson that she is not supposed to be a leader of her tribe and that somebody else can do it and raise the child which is so wrong <sighs> Oh. And there is nobody. Else. And then they wanted to su seduce me with that, that. Well, you can have another man. You can have many other children. As long as nobody's nearby, your mother and father, because they believe in something. Really? Which, yeah. They said that to you? Yeah. God's gracious. Freaking hell, I didn't know that. But I don't really want them to be apart anymore because they argue, they do messes. I don't want them to be uh, part of my world. I want to raise my children on my own because I feel there's been so much damage to my family. And obviously nobody can damage her, his or her family on their own. It is somebody else that does it and enjoys it. Okay, so so your mother and father and other members of your tribe yeah. were not given any chance to to raise your son. Yeah. There was just people who Swedish social services picked up as fit to raise the child in the way that Swedish social services want to, the child to be raised. This was quite shocking, wasn't it? That they sort of, they are the ones to, to decide. This is a very shocking experience. Which is, uh, 
against common law. How can they have even normal laws if they have these laws? They have obviously wanted to create me to a criminal person because they already tried to create me into a pedophile. They tried to create me and my mother into a pedophile relationship when I was 15 because my mother was protecting me so much and coming with such honest and believable comments that I should be protectful of myself, do not do wrong and do not do anything out of the, the air. And so they tried, to, the social services tried to convince the police that me and my mother had a lesbian affair going on, which was, it is just unacceptable what the social services in Sweden does. I had to go and speak to the police and say to them that I do not have a sexual relationship with my mother. Girl, oh! Imagine to, to have that experience and when you're And these are the people we are have to contact because nobody is allowed to get a very well-paid job in Sweden. The salary, if you're 25 years old, your salary is 25,000. But as I lived in Sweden, I do not anymore wish to live there. Because when I was 17 and I had to work for 10,000 of crowns, which didn't pay my duties, or I could not even pay for anything, you know. It was not, I had to work and stress, and I had to talk with the Swedish people about their private things. It's not what I want to do in my life. That's right. You're, you're needed by your kin. You're the icon now. The fertile young woman. Well, I was so loved when I was a child. and This love is still existing, but it has been destroyed a little bit by that, that my mother and father did not know how to react. And they listen to this brainwashing technique that the Swedish do have. Yeah. Let the gods be with us. Mm -hmm. Anyway, to, to wrap it up, all this hard experience. So not right now we're trying to get the baby back from Sweden. Yes. And my first uh, comeback to, into reality is that I have a strong position in the society now. My mother's relative is the defense minister in this country. So therefore I am protected by law. If something happens to him, this means that they are trying to attack the country. So now I am protected. Listen, you do not know what the laws are about. And so therefore I went to the hospital where I had to search for a technique how to try to convince a doctor that I am not crazy. But she obviously, as every other doctor, but she had silicone lips, so she is crazy by herself. She cannot look at herself in the mirror without thinking she's ugly. Uh, so... Obviously, this doctor was brainwashed as well, and I was put into the psychiatrist institute for one for the sixth or seventh time. In but this time it was nice. This time everybody was nice to me. They didn't try to kill me. They had a loving affection for me. They they strove. Yeah, they strove. To help me. Mm -hmm. And the medicine was good, it was all new, and it was all made to be helpful, not to destroy the body. And, and what is that? And everything, and, 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 but still, 
the same thing happened. I went to a doctor where I asked for help. I wanted some relaxing medicine for sleep. I wanted some relaxing chemical medicine. I was telling her how I had been raped and how they described in, in Sweden how it all happens and when it all had, goes on. And, and, she, and it was as if they believed as if I was lying. Okay, let's get to the important thing. So now we're trying to get the baby back. So yeah. I, could, I could raise it. Yeah, and what I've heard is that I need to have a concilium. I need to have at least 20 doctors to tell me that I am healthy from schizophrenia. Because this doctor that I met now, he told me that he never wanted to see me again. But of course... I have to subside to the effect. Yeah, I have to subside. When I say subside, I have to give my... I have to rest my energy into their affection. I don't know how to explain it. I have to rest it into, into what they like. I have to compel them. I have to... I have to be something of their object for them to understand me. And if they don't understand me, I have to go to the hospital and they do not help me. So the, the point is that... But my mother won't get back the child if 